I've worked in the coffee industry for about over five years and I really thoroughly enjoy it. I like the connection that you get with people um, and I'm friends with Amanda who is half owner of Adventures Underground and we've been just kind of talking for a while about wanting to start up something and make us be able to expand adventures and do something new. So. The concept of the cafe is Steampunk Alice in Wonderland. Uh, the steampunk portion came from the fact that Kat uh, really loves steampunk, Kat the owner, and she decided that she wanted a place to work where she could just dress up every day like it's Halloween. So she decided steampunk cafe, steampunk uniform, so she could wear her steampunk clothing. So, I've always been fascinated with the mechanical components of steampunk. Um, I'd say at least a couple of years I've been into it, but I've kind of only lightly dabbled. Um, I used to be a cosplayer myself, um, and so I have kind of a lot of fun dressing up, and I wanted to have a job where I could basically wear costumes every single day. Halloween's my, one of my favorite things. Um, and I wanted to continue on, especially because Adventures Underground was named after the book Lewis Carroll's um, The Adventures of Alice Underground. So their logo is the White Rabbit, so we decided to tie that in and go with the Caterpillar Cafe. So with that theme and trying to do some fun things like steampunk, because we don't have anything themed in the Tri-Cities whatsoever, um, this gave us the freedom to do Alice in Wonderland, but in our own version take of it. We started about almost three years back. Um, we went to Coffee Fest, um, which is held in Seattle every year, usually around late September. And we just went from vendor to vendor and just started tasting. We were pretty much open to anything. We did want to keep it um, at least northwest uh, local, um, but we were open to a bunch of different ones. We tried um, quite a few different Portland ones, quite a few different Seattle ones, even ones that were in Camino Islands in that area. Um, and then that's how we met Peyton from Cafe Darte. And we just really enjoyed talking with him and he knew a lot about coffee and we just really liked the flavor profile of those the most. And then um, about a year and a half into it, um, we were told about um, Walla Walla Roaster. So we went out and talked to Thomas of that, another great roaster. Um, so we had actually had a trouble deciding between the two. So we actually let our um, customers decide. We went and did for the summer a blind taste test, two similar coffees against each other for a whole week and Café d'Arte seemed to come out on top. Gosh, as far as the creation of our beverages, our specialty beverages, uh, we're kind of making them up as we go along. We're trying to think of the personalities of the characters that we're trying to recreate as beverage forms. So it's really just been a lot of trial and error. Uh, I don't know if I really have a favorite so far because for one thing I'm really picky when it comes to my beverages so a lot of them so far have included chocolate and I don't like chocolate very much. <laughs> um, but our Mad Hatter which actually is not up yet, we don't even have a price for it yet, um, is a tea latte with using um, our Midnight Vanilla Black Tea from uh, Tea Galleria and with uh, like steamed milk and I believe we're putting toasted marshmallow in it. So it makes a very interesting like flavor component, and I really like tea lattes, so tea lattes for the win. So the most popular and at the same time the least popular beverage would have to be the Jabberwocky, depending on who you ask. So the Jabberwocky was actually a suggestion by our soda fountain guy. As he was installing the soda fountain, he was telling us about another location where it's a coffee shop that has a soda fountain in it, and they to wake themselves up in the morning would have Dr. Pepper and put a shot of coffee in it and that would essentially act as an energy drink. So we thought he was crazy and decided to try it and Kat and I absolutely loved it. Alex is kind of indifferent about it and most of the employees over at Adventures Underground either love it or hate it. it it's kind of one of those love-hate relationship things. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, we've had quite a few drink combinations that have been fairly terrible, hence we aren't using them. Um, I feel like we tried one the other day. I'm trying to remember what it was exactly, but it like sound. Oh, we tried to make a Nutella. 
like a Nutella flavor. So we tried like mocha with hazelnuts and we used almond milk. And you would think that would be really good. Like it sounds like it should be a good flavor together. It was, it had like this really weird, awkward aftertaste. It was just bad. It just, no. Apparently Nutella is not meant to be a beverage like ever.